The views and opinions expressed by the guests and contributors on Conklin and Company are not necessarily those of 13 ABC. Now, Conklin and Company continues with Take Three, commentary and analysis from our panel of political contributors. Welcome back, everyone. I want to welcome in our Take Three panelists, Tom Troy from the Toledo Blade, Linda Mitchell from Cumulus Radio. Great to have both of you on again. And Tom, I saw you. Here. I saw you on Wednesday at uh, uh, the Rec Center down there in the uh, National Guard uh, building in Bowling Green at the uh, the Romney event, big right. campaign event. London, you, you heard that too, listening. And uh, this, uh, it appeared. I mean, just from being there, Tom, and in London, you can speak to to what you heard and saw. To me, this was as on point, as enthusiastic. Uh, I know it's going to take as I've seen Mitt Romney uh, at a campaign event uh, throughout the entire course of the campaign, he just really seemed to be on. If you, if you base your, your judgment of how a campaign is going from the behavior of the candidate and the attitude of the crowd, you would say the momentum was with Mitt Romney. He, Very confident, he said. Yeah. He came into this event uh, animated, of course, coming from Toledo where he raised a lot of money, so maybe he had something to be animated about, mm -hmm. but the he and the crowd were together. Uh, of course, he, was mo he, he had uh, uh, Obama's uh, comment that he had made the previous week in which, if you have a business, you didn't build that business, uh, which the Republicans have You been. got help building right. that business, and, right? And Mitt, Mitt Romney really uh, spent a whole, his whole town hall meeting talking about yeah, that. And, and everybody was tuned in to London uh, and had made signs. It was almost like a basketball game where you're out to uh, send a message because there were a lot of signs, Tom. Right. Hey, I built my business. Don't tell me how I built my business. And the crowd had been prepped. I mean, they, Clearly, they, they yeah, knew what yeah. message to take there. And, and they were as much on message as Romney mm -hmm. was. Mm -hmm. So I think it was, it was really a, a, a tight-knit, very, very, uh, I don't want to say it was orchestrated, but they were all on the same wavelength. Well, well they, they didn't bring those signs with them from their homes. Those signs were made... Some of them were made by volunteers. Some of them they made, they had a table with all the materials and they were mm -hmm. invited to make the signs. So when Romney um, noticed all the signs about 25 minutes in and he was expressing you know, his pleasure over how mm -hmm. interesting and fun they were, the staff had made sure that there were signs. There were signs out there. Not to say those people didn't believe it, because they did. Uh, and there were some people in the crowd who asked questions, hey, there I'm a home builder, uh, and, and, yeah. it, and, and he really played off that. Right. I'm, I'm a small business owner. Well, there's no question Obama said exactly the wrong thing. I uh, understand what the point he was trying to right. make, but he played. It's just the same mindset as the point, as the comment he made a couple, several weeks ago, when he said the private sector is doing fine. Right, and, it, and we've, and we're going to keep hearing that mm -hmm. uh, to November. But I want, want to talk about how both candidates uh, really stepped away, uh, as we tape here on Friday, a day that uh, the the country mourns the loss of, of uh, the people in Colorado. There's you know, a lot of young people in Colorado killed in the shooting at the Aurora movie theater, mm -hmm. uh, allegedly at the hands of one gunman. And uh, the president uh, was scheduled to be in Florida for a big uh, campaign appearance and, and uh, only spoke eight minutes uh, and said, uh, hey, rem it reminds us of all the ways we are united as one uh, American family. I went back to Washington shortly thereafter. Mitt Romney uh, was supposed to be at a campaign event as well. Uh, he said the answer is we can come together, we show our fellow citizens the good heart of the America we know and love. So. A, a break from the bitter, contentious battle brought on by a tragedy uh, uh, this past Friday. Well, you, there's, there's going to be some political ramifications from this event, but everybody knows, we're all Americans, everybody knows that when we have that debate and have that discussion, let's have it rationally right. and let's not leap to conclusions and let's not exploit other people's uh, pain and suffering for a mm -hmm. political moment. But so much in contrast to the political advertising, yes. which really is divisive in nature. The haves and the have-nots right. in the, in the Class Obama warfare, campaign. Yes. allegations and what have you. And, and that, and but they that, have risen above the occasion. Yeah. And they had yeah. to. They had to. There's something uh, as tragic as, as what took place uh, out in Colorado. Before that, um, I asked Mitt Romney in the interview about the, the, the question over the tax returns, which really had dominated the headlines. And he was steadfast. Hey, done enough. And he had the answer ready to go, not going to release any more. And Romney coming to his defense the next day, uh, saying, we've done enough. London, your, your thoughts on, on watching that? I'm, I'm, I'm torn with whether or not this is really the issue that uh, we should be spending so much time mm -hmm. on. But it's a simple issue. 
And I wonder if we in the news media haven't, uh, I don't know, come, come to where we, we think short term, small sound bites. We're, we're pretty shallow in, in our thinking. And this is a pretty easy uh, issue to describe and debate. Mm -hmm. But is it really what we really need to be focusing on? Well, and that's what Mitt Romney says in response to that question. And there has been some republic. There have been some Republicans who think he should. Right. I think uh, the Speaker of the House in, in Ohio, uh, Bill Batchelder, said he should release more. He made a comment. He said, "In this day and age, you kind of expect it at that level of president. Maybe county commissioner, you don't release your tax returns. But when you're running for president, you show your tax returns. So I think there is pressure on him." I'm not sure why he doesn't unless, I mean, it only feeds the impression that he's got something to hide. Mm -hmm. We already know he's an extremely wealthy person. Mm -hmm. What in the past 10 years could be worse than what he's, we've seen already? Well, that uh, remains to be seen. But for, as far as we know, this is it, two years. Uh, 2010 and 2011 is what uh, is And what Ann Romney public. was very adamant about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This all, is it. That, that's all you're getting. Okay. Rob Portman, still at the top of this very short list now. Uh, still being, he was very mum, even on Friday, telling, telling reporters in a conference call, you know, I, I'm just making appearances in New Bremen and uh, other, other businesses in Ohio. I'm not ready to talk about it. Uh, yeah. to doing the, the work of, the, the, work of the, uh, the constituents. Your thoughts, Tom? Well, the, the, uh, you know, Mitt Romney continues to keep people guessing, has given no clue. Traditionally, this is an announcement that is made just before the convention, which is going to be in late August, so I guess we still have potentially four weeks. Um, and in a way, it works for him because he's got all these guys working hard right, for him, right. in a sense, auditioning Paul Lenti, Jindal, uh, Rob Portman. But, you know, we're all, we're all doing our own armchair theorizing which one would be the best one. I maintain that Portman would be uh, probably the best selection for uh, Romney because he would help bring Ohio along, which, as we know, is the most critical. Got to have it. Got to have you, it. With Pawlenty, you get he's not going to win Minnesota. <laughs> right, right. Ultra-liberal Minnesota. Yeah, right. And All you right. wonder who's going to be next to deliver the Republican rebuttal to Obama's weekly address. Mm. Portman, I think, last week. So who's coming call? up yeah. this weekend? That's and like the cloud. That's like right. the smoke coming out of the chimney. Yeah. And, and what about <laughs> this, uh, this um, uh, Condoleezza Rice talk this week? Really flared up. Uh, that there would be the buzz factor with Condoleezza Rice he might, would not get from Rob Portman. London? That would be really a, uh, <laughs> an, in, an interesting uh, move. I, I think that would, that would generate a lot of uh, discussion and she might even put him uh, in a secondary status. I think a lot of the attention, mm. at least early on, would be on her. Sarah Palin-like. Yeah, but to a different degree, wouldn't you say? Well, nobody's going to question Condoleezza Rice's qualifications Correct. to be president should that occur. Of course, she brings diversity to the, ba to the ticket. Maybe she doesn't bring the, the, the fire in the belly. I don't think she really mm. wants it. She could have had it, I think, if she wanted okay. it. By She's now. good at Stanford. Yeah, they need a, that's why I, I read they need, he wants an attack dog. Yeah, and, and, and perhaps, of course, perhaps is not. Portman an, an yeah. attack dog, too? Well, it remains to be seen. <laughs> Good stuff from both of you. Thanks, as always. Tom Troy, London Mitchell, Good have a great here. week. We'll see you next Sunday on Conklin & Company. Take care, everybody.